Hi, I'm Kurt Brownoller. I was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Quickly moved to Asbury Park, New Jersey, and then moved next door after my bike got stolen like six times to Neptune, New Jersey. Lived there for uh, until I was 18, then went to Baltimore, and then uh, was trying to decide between San Francisco and Brooklyn to where to move to, and decided on Brooklyn because I know I knew one person in Brooklyn who was John Daly. I saw him do a, a long form improv show like right after I moved there, and so I started doing improv, uh, which I did for many, many years. I would say too many years. And then I probably started writing seriously for stand up for myself maybe like six years ago. This is an HVAC contractor's tool that takes temperatures of things from far away using a laser. For instance, that back wall right there, that's 79.3 degrees. We're gonna use it to find out who's got the hottest crotch in the room. Right now, I am clocking in at 85.1 degrees. Thank you. Thank you. 14 degrees below normal human body temperature. <laughs> uh, let's see what you got, buddy. Boom, he's lifting it up for me. 90.3 degrees! Nice. That is hot. That is a hot crotch. I fixed computers for eight years. I don't know anything about computers. Everyone who worked there was so dumb that like all of their problems were like it was unplugged. I was so awful. I would like put off doing the simplest thing, like, can you connect me to a printer? I would make them wait like a week. So they just couldn't print. <laughs> I got them to agree to me leaving for months at a time to go to comedy festivals. <laughs> so like the first comedy festival I went to was in 2004 to Edinburgh. And I just was like, hey, listen. I was like, I gotta go for a month and do this comedy festival. And they're like, we don't like that. And I'm like, I know, but. I'm doing it, and so, and they're like, okay. Because <laughs> they just were too lazy to want to hire somebody else. And so I went away for a month, then I went away for another month, and then I tried to do it a third time. I was like, I gotta go do, this was, this was the Melbourne Comedy Festival, I was like, I gotta go away for a month. And they're just like, no, you're fired. <laughs> and I was like, I'll take it. Do I get unemployment? Perfect, you just launched my comedy career. I just found my uncle's Playboys, and I had cut just the breasts out of every photograph <laughs> and taped them to my wall underneath a poster that was a photograph of myself at age five that said, wanted, dead, or alive. <laughs> and I would charge children in the neighborhood a quarter to stare at this sea of disembodied breasts, <laughs> realizing early on that breasts without women are disturbing. 